Digital photo keychains were a niche product sold during the mid to late 2000s and they were available virtually everywhere. Grocery stores, electronic stores, gift and souvenir shops, they always seem to have some kind of presence. Of course, the modern day smartphone completely obliterates these devices by having higher quality and larger screens, essentially making one of these pointless in our current day. So the model I have on my table here is a Zenix 1.4 inch digital photo keychain. So this particular model was fairly popular in its time and I personally got it in the year 2009. However, it never really saw much use since the original battery it came with, which is this, never actually held a charge. So I tried to plug it in and it just never really worked. However, I recently soldered in a replacement to test how the device should have performed from the factory. So having a look around the device, it's made out of a combination of rubberized plastic, as you can see, this black part here, and a stainless steel trim on the front here. It's just a little plate that's glued on. So obviously the rubberization over the years had turned to this sticky goo, and I had to uh, do a bit of sanding to get the sticky coating off. As you can see, I sanded a little too much here and the paint kind of came off as well. But at least it's not sticky anymore, so that's, that's good. So around the device there's a total of three buttons on the front here, so select. And we have uh, the, the back button, which is uh, to advance through the menus or to go back in your photo collection and forward to also advance through the menus and go forward through your photo collection. And on the back we have right here a little pinhole which is for your uh, reset. So you use something sharp in case the device were to freeze up and it would reset the device. So to turn it on you hold the middle button for a couple of seconds. It shows Xenix and it immediately shows you your pictures. So spec-wise we have a 128 by 128 pixel TFT LCD display. And on board we have 300 kilobytes of uh, inbuilt storage. And this is approximately good for 50 photos. So moving around the device and the software, you have the pictures. So if you advance forward it shows you your next picture. These are the uh, standard default pictures it came with. Some nice uh, sceneries and furniture as you can see. To go to the menus you have to press the middle button and it gives you a couple of options here. So you've got USB connect if you want to connect it to your computer and add your own pictures. It has a clock function which is pretty nice. Kind of acts like a pocket watch. So under clock we have uh, digital which shows uh, the calendar date, um, the time, and which day it is. Going back, uh, we also have an analog clock here, which looks like this. It's a very 2000s look to it with the uh, gradients and uh, the leaves in the background. You don't really see this much nowadays, but uh, yeah, there you are. You have your analog clock. And that's about it for the clock settings. You can also adjust the time, obviously. Under slideshow, you can uh, say on, off, or cancel to go back. Basically, this is just uh, to automatically advance uh, your uh, pictures if you were to leave it. Auto shutdown, those are just your settings for if you leave the device on, it will turn off after a selected period of time. Contrast, this is just for the display. So your contrast settings. And backlight. 
You have 21 levels of backlight settings, which is neat. Not all of these had backlight settings, so this one does have that setting. So in case you uh, were inside or outside, you can compensate through these settings. And delete, you can delete individual pictures. Off just turns off the device. And exit goes back to the uh, pictures. And that's about it. Now, I will demonstrate uh, what it looks like when you connect it to the computer because it isn't what you're expecting. Like this doesn't show up as a USB flash drive. I'll show it in the next clip. Okay, now we're on my desktop here. I'll demonstrate how to upload the pictures or download pictures from this device. So on the bottom here we have a mini USB connector. So it takes basically any kind of cable that supports uh, data transfer. So here I have one. I plug it into the bottom. And it will turn on, but it won't automatically connect to the computer. As I mentioned previously, you have to go into the settings here, go on USB connect and say yes. Now it says USB connected. And when you look here, I'll zoom in. It shows up as a CD drive. So a CD drive, so there it is. 304 kilobytes. You double click it and then it gives you all these options here. So there's a program, there's an executable, it's called dpfmate.exe and basically this is the software that you use to control um, the uh, pictures that you put on it. It's not just drag and drop, this is uh, actually through its own little software. So you open up that, shows the software, and here's your uh, little interface. So the idea behind this is uh, when you pick a picture, like here are the four, not four, five pictures that are already on the device. So if you want to put your own pictures on here, you go on your desktop or basically any uh, folder that you have the pictures you want to upload, you select them and you download them to the device. The device automatically crops and reformats all your pictures. So every picture you upload on this will be made into a one by one square at 128 by 128 pixels in uh, BMP format. So you have to keep that in mind because it does not keep the original aspect ratio settings. For instance, here I've opened up a folder with a couple of pictures here of a Maserati Grand Sport. So I want to upload these to the um, photo keychain. So when you select your pictures, it puts these crop marks around it. It basically tells you where you can crop the picture. So I can drag it left and right and tell it, okay, here's where I want it to be cropped. So see, I crop it like right there. So the rear wheel will be cut off in this. So what do you do? You then click add on the picture you want to add. And there it is. Here's the player. It's been added to the player. Here's another picture of the Maserati. Here's the back. So I've cropped it again like this, add. And next is another picture. We'll put three pictures. I'll just leave this in the middle for the cropping boundaries and add. And after that, press download. Download means it basically saves your changes, uploads the photos. And now you have the three photos on the device. So I'll exit out of this program. I'll say, do you want to quit? Yes. You uh, exit it, then I'll do the safely eject. I think that's done. Let me pull it out. Let's see if we have the pictures. 
Yes, they're there. Here's the front Maserati, back, and the side. So there you are. The Zenix 1.4 inch digital photo keychain.